right, just coming back to let you know what a wonderful trip we had up the northeast coast of the United States and up into Canada, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. There were no major breakdowns. We had a few issues and a few things we had to fix once we got back. Just real brief, uh, the, the coach is a 2002 model. It's in good shape. The guy that had us before us kept it in a, a garage, so it's in really good shape. And after the trip up there, we spent, uh, I think it was 5,400 miles plus or minus. When we got back home, we were uh, noticing the thing. First of all, the uh, transfer switch was blown up. So the transfer switch is located where the electrical panel is. Alright, the electrical service comes in here. This is where I pull the uh, power cord out and now the surge protector that goes with it every time. This box here is what got replaced. So this big gawky four wire with a ground thing wires into one side of the transfer switch and equally big and gawky wire that comes in from the generator and goes up through the uh, holes that were pre-drilled in the panel and it gets wired up to the other side so it is a 50 amp service transfer switch and it is an exact replacement the switch model that was in the camper is no longer manufactured so this was an exact replacement and so it took a day I guess to take the old one out bend the wires out get them out put the new one in uh, it was retrofitted so the holes lined up and the wires were just very very hard to bend they were stranded wires so they kept trying to fray on the end uh, but nonetheless now everything is back to proper working order and we've tested the generator and the shore power and everything seems to work perfectly. So I had to order a part, replace that myself, that wasn't a big deal. Then we noticed just sitting here in the in the garage the airbags would leak down just within a couple hours, three hours, maybe four hours, and the bus would be sitting on the ground. So I knew there was a leak somewhere that's not supposed to do that. So anyway, we're going to tell you about repairing the uh, airbags. Brought it here today, get the airbags checked, ride level sensors, and air hoses, anything that might be causing a leak. The motorhome's got to where when you cut it off just in a couple hours, it'll be uh, completely sitting on the ground. And it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to air it up before you can drive it to get the air pressure over 100 pounds. So we're going to see what that's all about could be another major expense and it could be just a level sensor I'll let you know when I find out yeah. oh my goodness that's where the pissing tower is coming yeah. from uh, and the front was you didn't take the front was good okay. they didn't look they didn't look the job on it in that day uh, they were there with a little hot roll away from that chair than it was up on the front yeah. end anyway you uh, saw when you there too with everything alright you want me to shut the engine off or let it go on? Yeah. Okay, I'll shut it off. Shut it off. conditioner the uh, dash the front engine air compressor air conditioner went out it would blow air but just air not cold air I'm gonna go back to the back and demonstrate what we did checking out the air conditioner problem that we had after we got back from Canada 
uh, the fan would blow but the air wasn't cold so the first suspicion is we've leaked out our Freon because it worked last year uh, the few times that we used it so what we did is came back to the back of the coach and I've got a neighbor that has all the uh, proper equipment the uh, vacuum pump and the uh, hoses and gauges that's needed for a 134A type Freon system, which is what this is. So the first thing you want to do is just see if the compressor is engaging. And it was not. This little part right here was not spinning. And there was no click that says, you know, it's trying to engage at all. So on the compressor, there's only one wire that comes up behind the pulley and it's secured where it won't get tangled up in the pulley. And there's a connection back here. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a connector. <laughs> Sorry about that. Trust me, there's a connect, there it is. There's the connector that you take apart, lift this little flap up and it'll come apart. And so we checked for 12 volts. We were not getting 12 volts. So the next thing we did is with this wire disconnected, we took a jumper and went from this wire, which is oddly enough a black wire, to be the positive 12 volts that goes to the compressor. So we took the black wire, applied a lawnmower battery positive to that black wire, and then took the ground of the uh, lawnmower battery and attached it here. As soon as we touched this with 12 volts, you could hear the clutch engage. So there was a definite click, click, Okay, so we know the compressor and the clutch relay are all good. Uh, if we were getting 12 volts here, it would work. So the next thing is check fuses, check voltage on the batteries, you know, just general troubleshooting area. And I'll take you around to the front of the bus, which is another thing about a, a diesel motor coach with the engine in the back. Your compressor is the only component that's in the back. So I'll take you around front and show you what we did up here. So in the front of the coach, obviously you gotta raise the hood to be able to see everything. First thing we did was check the batteries and the fuses. And you can't see that at all, so let me open this. But I wanted to show you, if you get close enough, each one of the fuses are labeled. And with the labeling, it was easy enough to find the one that's the air conditioner compressor. Uh, so we took that out, checked it, and it was fine. So obviously I don't have the schematic to the bus memorized, so I had to use uh, Google to help identify where things are at. So here is a little uh, dryer collector it collects the moisture out of the system <coughs> and dries that and that's your low pressure side and then the high pressure side where's the high pressure side we had a high pressure side I don't remember where it's at but it looks just like this except for a high pressure all right so this ended up being my culprit this is the low pressure sensor switch so down here in the line if there is no freon or little amount of freon to keep from burning up the compressor that's in the back of the bus this switch will not allow 12 volts to be applied to the compressor that's why we weren't getting 12 volts so we chased all the uh, there's the there's the low pressure side this is high pressure here. So we hooked the cables up to that. And we checked all the uh, the pressure. And there was none. And I'm going to post a chart on here to show you what it should have been. And there is the convection coil. So that looked okay. Everything was working there. This is the evaporator, and that's where the air blows 
through that to cool the coach off. And if you feel this, this is very cold. And if you go back to the back of the bus and touch the compressor hoses, one of those is like touching a hot skillet. You don't want to touch it very long. And what happens is, now we're getting icicle cold air coming out the uh, system. Uh, the shocks and the struts on the Honda Civic, uh, they were going out, that car's got 240,000 miles on it and it still runs great, still cranks good, still runs good, the tires are balanced, everything feels good driving the car, except the back struts, uh, the back shocks went out, so we had to get that replaced. And we've ordered a new roof, armor, roofs, so we'll never have to touch the roof again once we get it, other than getting up there and washing it off. With the old roof, it's a rubber roof. Uh, when it rains or a heavy dew comes, we end up getting the flat stripes up and down the side of the van that we have to wash off and it looks nasty. While you're watching this video, if you have not subscribed, we would love it very much. That would help us tremendously to know that what we're doing, the amount of hours we put into these videos, uh, if, if you enjoyed them or you thought they were educational or you just want to see two goofy people mess up all the time, uh, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, let us know you like the videos, and please leave a little comment in the bottom. So thanks, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see from up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Back to let you know what a wonderful twip. Twip? <laughs> what a twip we had. What a wonderful twip we had. <laughs> yeah, what a twip. Cut. <laughs>